Hi, so welcome back to my channel. Um, so if you were listening to or watching my last vlog about yung my two helmets, then may nabanggit ako about my newest helmet that is arriving. So it has finally arrived. So if you look at uh, these pictures that I'll be flashing of what what uh, what reminds me of my childhood, you will see why when I saw this helmet, I had to get it. And the good thing about also about uh, this particular helmet is um, it was on sale. Um, they had only one last size and it was perfectly uh, a double XL, which what uh, I do wear for this type of helmet. Uh, so, um, Let's get to unboxing this. So, so as you can see in the box, it is a Fox helmet. Fox V1 MVRS helmet. So MVRS is, I think, means magnetic visor release system. So let's look into that later. Uh, so, um, so give it the brand Fox. So you already know this is going to be a motocross helmet. This is going to be my first real motocross helmet. I've never owned a motocross helmet, so I have no prior experience to motocross helmet. So um, I will, after, after this unboxing, I will be taking it um, hopefully for a few rides and then I'll do a quick review also. But bear in mind, I don't have any previous comparison to other motocross helmet. The closest one I have is the HJC. Uh, if you watch this uh, review here, uh, it's actually an adventure helmet, so it's not really purely a motocross helmet. It looks like a motocross helmet, but it is an adventure. It has a lid uh, and all those. Uh, so here it is. Let, let's... So it has a nice dust bag. So what's in here? Just padding. Oh, let's remove that. Okay. I'm getting really excited about this. Comes with a box manual. Okay, let's just grab that. Thing. Jimmy. Okay, one, two. Three. See? Even the writings in Japanese. This is, uh, according to my friends, this word is fox in Japanese. If you're going to write fox in Japanese, this is how you're going to write it. Look at that color. So this is uh, the Fox V1, which is a polycarbonate uh, helmet. So prior to purchasing this, um, I, I read a few reviews and one of the main concern that uh, some of the reviewers had was uh, that it's a heavy helmet because this is Fox entry level helmet, the V1. They have the V2, they have the V3. So the V1 being their entry level um, is not as light as the other, but it's actually not bad, especially if you're going to compare it to my other HJC helmet, which is around 1.7. No, so, so I didn't have any problems using that. I did have problems with weight with that. So I don't think I'll have problems with this when it comes to weight. Now let's let's look into what I was talking about, the MVRS. This is, as you can see, it says here, MVRS or the Magnetic Visor Removal System. So, so this visor here, as you can see, um, is easily removed as compared to other helmets, like especially... Uh, compared to the other helmets like my HJC, you need to remove a screw here, remove the screw on the side to just remove it. But those are adjustable. This one is fixed. You cannot adjust 
um, the angle of the peak or the visor. But in this one, this has magnetic visor removal system. So what it does is you can easily remove them. You just, wait, I saw this in the review. You pop this on the side and then there you go. There's that magnet, there's a metal here that connects to the magnet. So putting them back should be also easy, very straightforward. There, the magnet is connecting, so see? And then once that is connected, you just pop this back in and there you go that's it now what is the advantage of having something that is removable as compared to something that is fixed with a screw this is a safety feature that when you fall with the peak hitting the ground there's a tendency that it might torque your head left or right and added this added torque might add injury to your neck so what when it 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 easily detaches during a fall your impact is not going to make your head roll awkwardly or making sure you don't injure your neck. Second is when you fall, and it's just a light fall, meaning it, it hits the visor. Rather than the visor breaking, it will just detach. So what's the advantage of that is um, if your helmet's still intact, meaning it's just a minor accident and you don't need to buy a new helmet, you also don't need to buy a new visor because it's not going to break off. Um, this is just going to be released quickly, so which means you can just put it back on, get back on the bike, and then just ride off. So this is also one of the advantages of that. It's not going to break away. This is just going to uh, easily detach. Now, just like other helmets, this has removable there's just snaps, so all the paddings are removable. This one is also removable here. So this is the, the whole top that which you can remove and you can just use snaps. I'm hoping the snaps are not going to give me an issue with, with have hot spots on the head. No, but let's see. Let's, let me try this on for the first time. This is a double XL. So like my HJC, I do wear a double XL. If I'm going to follow the size chart based on my measurement, I should be an XL. But my, my biggest concern with XL helmets with some, some brands is this part is okay. This part is not. This is where I always have problems. I do have bigger cheeks. No? So I need something with thinner cheek pads, which happens to be, if I get a double XL, those are usually going to be better. So let's see how this thing fits. Double XL, let's yank the straps out, and then... So as you can see, I can feel a little pressure here, and this is a double XL, no? Um, I do wear a balaclava regularly, so that shouldn't be an issue much yeah. yeah but the fit yep not moving fit is good around the head here no pressure this is the only place i'm feeling some pressure right now but um compared to my other helmets um this is very typical for me and this will break in after a few rides so let me just remove this yeah so well I'm glad this is, this, the fit is okay. It would be difficult. I don't want to be returning this because the color is just perfect. Since this is a motocross helmet, it doesn't have a visor. So with motocross, what they do is they actually use goggles. Uh, so a uh, few weeks uh, ago, there was the show, um, I think it was the Inside Racing uh, Motorcycle Show. Uh, if you want to see my walkthrough of that event, uh, I'll post a link here. And in that show, uh, Moto World, one of the uh, shops that sells motorcycle gears, was uh, having a sale. So pretty much everything in their store was 20%. And I chanced upon these goggles. And I wasn't planning on buying any goggles because I was planning to just wear sunglasses when I use this but when I saw these goggles it was a perfect match to this so let's let's unbox this
Remember when I was talking about my inspiration to why I like this? What, what are those things that inspired me? This is just perfect for that. Just look at that gold lens. Look at the color, white, blue. Look at the strap, gold. And this one, wait, let's see what's inside the box. So of course you have your goggles. Um, you know, sticker. Um, tear offs. Uh, tear off is if you actually do racing, you put them on so that when mud gets into it, rather than wiping it, which makes it more muddier, you just tear it off. So these are the tear offs. It comes in a, a bunch of tear, tear offs. I don't know how many pieces is this, but that's a lot. I think these are at least more than 10. Um, comes with a uh, clear visor in case you want to change the gold to clear. And then of course the carrying pouch, what's in here? Oh, I think these are spare pitlocks. I don't know. Let me just go through the manual. And of course, the instruction manual. Okay, so these goggles, uh, I just find it as the perfect match for, for this helmet. So how do we put them on? Let's see. This box down. So let's put on the helmet first. See? Very typical. I need to I need to pop my ears every time. But this one has actually more room on the ear, so it's not as difficult as the others. No? So how do you put on the goggles? So I guess you put them on this way. Wow, so pretty. Does it look nice? Okay, so, uh, do you remove it with the goggles on? Or do you remove your goggles first? Let's see. Oh, you can leave them in place, but let's see next time. Okay. So, the only drawback is with your, with your goggles on, it covers the design that I actually wanted. But uh, let's see, maybe I'll just wear the goggles not as often. Uh, but once again, here, I'll go, I'll do a video of just the whole thing. I'll go around so you guys can see this much better. And I hope the video does justice to this. The paint, the color is just really, really nice. Uh, I will make a, a quick review also after I've uh, used this. Uh, I'll probably just take it out for a spin later and see how wind is, if it's loud. Just those, those few things. Now, I don't really ride the motocross and I, I have no plans uh, yet to ride motocross. So I don't know um, how good this is as a motocross, for motocross. So, so all I have is using this as a street my daily or something uh, for my street bike. So let's see, I'll, I'll post the review again after, after I use them. But for now, let me just give you a close up of the helmet. Without the, without of course the, the goggles so you can see the color and the paintwork. Yeah. 